we're doing the domestic violence stuff and uh, Tinga is one of our targeted areas. We go around and consult with the players and the teams to get their uh, feelings to see if they'd come on board and the agreement that we have put in place with a code of conduct for the domestic violence stuff. My role has been is just as a consultant to, to get to really all the areas and introduce the, the domestic violence program. I work for the Department of Community Services at Inverell. The area that we cover, we cover a very big area, all the little towns including Tinga, Warrialda, Inverell, Glen Innes, Ashford and Bingra. That's the area our, our department covers. I'm the manager casework uh, at Inverell. We've got Mudge and Gull involved who are going into those communities with Larry Corowa, running domestic violence workshops with the players, like screaming and shouting and throwing things is actually domestic violence. Intimidation is domestic violence. It's not just hitting and kicking and punching people. And it's raising that awareness amongst the players. It's non-discriminatory. It is about the whole community. It is about uh, the team that's so important to that community, black and white, coming together to say, we want homes to be safe and loving places for children to grow up in. Uh, the agreement is, uh, is a code of conduct that's been put in uh, for the players, especially with domestic violence. If they have one charge, uh, they get one game, two charges, three games. And if they have three charges against them, they'll be out for the year. So that is the code of conduct in the agreement. And also with um, the sponsorship through the clubs that uh, they'll do some educational work and also with the women's groups and all that. Uh, so it's, it's, been, it's been very good and successful at, at this early stage. Here in Tinga, for example, on Thursday night there was a group of 60 women came together, wives, girlfriends, women from the local community, to talk about what domestic violence is, to say we're going to take a leadership role in this. There is a um, women's group in Tinga that we want to expand on uh, with Miss Sue Blacklock. She's already got a group of women and we, we spoke about that the other night in relation to expanding on that and getting some of our younger women involved. We've got our community service workers involved as well, uh, putting out information, but most importantly going into high schools, running programs about respectful relationships. So it's a whole community um, direction, but the key to it is the footballers, the football team, including the juniors, saying we're going to be the role models for this. There's all types of violence and I've seen it over the 30 years that I've been involved in rugby league and it's a serious subject that um, we don't talk about. Um, I know a lot of the Aboriginal people just hide it, keep it under the in, their in-house and all that, but it's time to try and help our kids, our younger generation, and try and help them from getting abused and physically and mentally and all that. So it's a serious uh, subject that uh, we're trying to educate our younger people and also our older people that uh, it's not on and we're going to uh, try and do something about it. It gives them an avenue, um, a reason to do something about it. And uh, who knows what some of the personal stories will be. But it is, a, um, it is an idea that it's so, it's an old fashioned idea, it's simple. It's using role models to say, this is the way we want our community to be. I think it's going to have really far reaching and long lasting effects. We had a big yarn to the ARL. Um, Jeff Carr and Ricky Walford have been really helpful. Uh, talking to Larry Coral, people like that. And what we wanted to do was look at where domestic violence rates were high, but that wasn't the only determinant. It was also, it was also, ah! <laughs> we have committed ourselves and we will honour your promise to the ladies of the community. We will tackle domestic violence.